Good morning, yeah, everybody. Good morning. Um, happy Wednesday, and thanks for taking the time out to join the call. Um, we have a bunch of updates, uh, which uh, uh, we'll request uh, Suraj, who's our head of engineering, to um, quickly run us through and um, uh, take it from there, Suraj. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good morning. Thanks, Shait. Good morning, everyone. We have a quick set of updates for this call today. Uh, I'll run this by today. Uh, this was uh, a continuation of last week, uh, where we, we we asked for you know participative improvement uh, participation in improvement of our reports. Uh, we have a whole bunch of people who volunteered for this, and starting today, the first set of reports will be shared for review. As we announced last week, we will uh, the reviewers will get stock and prize for the top three reviewers. We will be creating a feedback form so that we can consolidate all the feedback into look and feel comments, uh, suggestions for change in look and feel, data representations, and ideas for new widgets, or you know ideas on how the report should look to be completed. Uh, so these are the four categories that we are trying to you know uh, put our feedback into. And as announced last week, there will be uh, stocks given out and and for the prices for the top three reviewers. So starting today, all the guys, all the all the people who volunteered for this will start getting uh, notifications uh, for their support in this activity. We had a quiet week this uh, last week. Uh, we are trying to fix issues that have been uh, uh, and uh, closed a lot of tickets. Uh, basically, we looked at uh, different tabs, different subsystems. Uh, including infrastructure and fixing up issues that keep cropping up. We've kind of uh, fixed a lot of agent issues. The agent is isolated into, you know, firewall block of the new domain. Like we mentioned last week, you know, when 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 the agent is communicating to the new domain, if it gets blocked, we had a fallback mechanism that had to be implemented. We have done that. And now in case there's any block in the firewall to the new domain, it will go back and into the old domain and it will still continue working. We had issues with NAT subscription. We have tightened that, and uh, this has been fixed, and it will be available in the GA on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, with all the with this, the most all the NATs issues have been fixed, and the the last change that we did is that you would not see Zitadel UI anywhere in your journey. So this has been fixed, and it will all go in only into Connect Secure. These are the three major changes that we have done in the last week uh, across the product. I'll just go through some of the some of the changes that we have done. We have done uh, date filters. We have done filters for the uh, date filters for the uh, system events. This is at the company view. Now you can select your dates and look at, uh, uh, at the bunch of activities that have happened uh, on the, in the alerts in the for the particular date range. This has happened at the company view, and it has also happened at the global view. Earlier we did not have this, so this is a new feature that has gone into the into the into the product. In addition to that, we added a filter for the vulnerabilities in the global view. So right now, if you go down into the uh, into the vulnerabilities, you can select by different vulnerabilities and you'll get a filter. This we've done it at a global level and we've done it also at a company level. This should be available in the product uh, as of now. We also added, uh, if required, you want to scan a particular interface for Nmap. We also given the option of adding a particular Nmap interface for uh, in the discovery settings. Uh, this is not a mandatory requirement, but in case you need to do a particular Nmap interface scan, you have the option to do that now. We added the last logon date for users uh, as a as a new new field in in this in the in the Azure AD. Under the AD, and we had also added a, a password policy uh, for, uh, under the Active Directory and uh, details. We are all, we are also added filters to filter of online and offline agents uh, under lightweight agents. You can now filter. 
and you can filter uh, online versus offline. Uh, so some of the features that are being uh, tested under QA and will go out the following week. Uh, we added uh, basically context sensitive. So if you're in the asset, you will see a whole lot of menus that are relevant to, to, that, to that menu. So if you're under assets, you will see all of these uh, asset uh, menus uh, for that particular asset in the same page. Similar thing, uh, you can now select and you can you know scan a remove asset uh, under under the under the under the under the asset view itself. Under the this this applies. So under the uh, under the solution space, so under the assets and solutions, you have all the all the menus available locally within that particular uh, view itself. Earlier it was in the global view, but now it is available in the particular view itself. And this thing applies to vulnerabilities as well. So the assets, problems, and vulnerabilities have uh, uh, have got, have the menus on the same page itself. Um, oops, sorry. Yeah, so going back, yeah, so under now under vulnerabilities, we have the same, uh, the under the global actions, we have the vulnerabilities, we have it in the same. Vulnerabilities page itself, so you don't have to go to the globals or global view all the time. That's pretty much the updates that we have this week. Uh, open to questions. Uh, um, let's go to the chat, please. Uh, Suraj, you want to take the questions in chat? For example, Mark has a question that when will V4 be available for on-prem? And uh, yeah, others. so, so you, uh, you can answer those. Yes. Hold on, please. So Mark, uh, the question on uh, agent, uh, next agent will be pushed. We, we are looking at, I just want to update you on, if you look at it, we are working on uh, version 4.2.8. These are the areas that we are working on. Uh, this should be available. Uh, I'll, I will come back to you on the date when we are going to push these agents, Mark. Shiva said weekend. Okay. When will V4 available on Prime? Uh, this is work in progress. Uh, I'll have to come back to you on the date on this, Mark. When sorting vulnerabilities, the rating is based on CVE scores, correct? Yes, this is correct. Going back to when will external scans to IP address be working again? Swami, do you have an answer to this? 
uh, we are working on that uh, multiple process capable of uh, uh, revamping that services. Uh, uh, Shiva sir and uh, we are getting that done uh, today or tomorrow. Can you make the critical high, medium, or sortable on pollution stage? Yes, this is work in progress, Anthony. This should be out shortly. This this is feedback that we got again, and we are working on this. This should be out very shortly. Are there any plans to implement approved, disapproved software in addition to mandatory? Would like to have, we would like to have flags permitted, but not necessarily mandatory to be installed. Thanks for the uh, input, Ben. We will look at this and uh, add, this, add this to the roadmap. Is there a timeline? This is from Andy. Is there a timeline for adding integrations in V3 to V4? Uh, what specifically are we looking for, Andy, in this? Is there any particular integration that you need? Is any script uh, for push this agent to remote endpoint? Uh, Swami, you have an answer for this. Is there any script to push the agent to remote endpoint? So, uh, Kuram, you are using any RMM tools or uh, you simply asking using any PowerShell script or something like that? Can you come on, please? Uh, we are using uh, on the endpoints we need to remove like a v3 agent so at current present we are saying both the agents are running so uh, how do we uh, remove the v3 version from the systems uh yes kuram so we are uh we are validating that script so it is almost ready so i think in the next uh, release uh we can be able to re uh, release the action button inside that agent itself so that we can list that all V3 agents and you can just click stop running and uninstall. You can send it from the UI itself and that can be done through the script. All right, Swami, this is a forum actually. We, uh, he's uh, my colleague. Oh, he asked the question before, right? So um, he asked the question. Yeah, my question is basically um, if we have the, if we have the, um, any kind of script or batch file to install and uninstall from any endpoint from the re remote side, right? Uh, actually, I'm not looking forward for uh, pushing from any RMM tool. I'm just looking for for any uh, PowerShell script or uh, any other uh, remote services, you know what I mean? So I just looking for if there is any kind of uh, command or any kind of uh, batch file is available so we can put into the remote computer and then push the agent from with the help of that. Is it possible? So you mean to say uh, you want to push that uh, v, V4 agent to the end, uh, remote endpoint, right? Yes. Uh, Uh, that I'm not sure about it right now. I can uh, get back to you on this. See, uh, in the remote endpoint, if you can able to uh, connect from uh, the central site, so you can able to run a batch script, uh, which has like whatever the current download script is there, right? The PowerShell script. So that has a clean uh, download URL. So it has the latest agent link is available and it will create like some days. Uh, validity and you can able to download that in the remote machine using that uh, PowerShell script and uh, you can able to execute it from the remote side. If you can able to do it from uh, like you can able to have you, you have any connectivity between that central side to that remote side. I got it. All right. Thank you. Uh, Kuram, uh, you, you got the answer, right? So It'll be from the UI, so you can be able to do it from um, the UI itself. You can able to uninstall it. Is that okay? 
Uh, yeah, uninstall part is still uh, the challenging part right now because uh, I'm trying to figure out this thing because oh, I need to uninstall first the old agent from the endpoint and then I need to push this new one. So um, I definitely come to you again with the complete scenario and use case. So after that, we will discuss in the email on your support, right? Yeah, definitely anytime. So you can send me a mail. Uh, we'll be happy to help you uh, migrating from V3 to V4. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Andy Sonicwal going to Sonicwal. Yeah, this is being uh, currently in, in the works. Uh, this should be out shortly. Uh, is it possible to add online status of the assets in patch management? Yes, we can do that. Uh, point taken. This can be done. Uh, Krishna, I think we just answered that. Uh, yeah, Mark has already added, uh, responded to you. Thank you. Yes. Do you have a published roadmap for all these new features, etc., that we can monitor and have a better idea when hopping will be implemented? Yes, Mark. Yes, Michael. We can definitely uh, have something published uh, on all these fe uh, roadmap uh, features that have been requested from uh, from the partners. No problem. We can publish that. Tony, how can you tell? Oh, sorry. There's a Tony. Uh, how can you tell how you identify one empty when in the old version there was a place where you could go and go on the go could go that list with the registry value you use. Tony, uh, uh, Swami, do you have do you have a response to Tony? Uh, we have that uh, uh, registry uh, key, uh, which key we are uh, identified, and based on that, this vulnerability is uh, um, active, and that information is already available in the section um, affected asset section. Sorry if I'm assuming something different. Tony, is that correct? Uh, we can move on next question. Okay, All right. Is there a timeline for five one degree watch card and forty net since Mirak is already in place? Right. Brian, uh, watch card, forty net, and Sonic Wall are being tested now. This should be available very shortly. Andy, would you add a widget to display the number of tickets created in PSA by connection to the last one? If uh, the, this can be done, uh, we'll take it as a feedback and work on this, uh, Andy. Uh, for Scott, uh, there this was a concern by many partners uh, and. Uh, we are pulling confirmed and unconfirmed uh, vulnerabilities now, and uh, we will have to update the UI to show the segregation so that we can able to uh, get all the latest uh, NIST information so that you can able to see like confirmed vulnerabilities and unconfirmed vulnerabilities. Uh, this will be like, uh, we are working on it right now and uh, it will be released uh, within like shortly, like next week, we can able to release this. Uh, Chris, uh, what is the status of on-prem compliance? It's been a few weeks away for several months, starting to feel like uh, We are sorry you feel that way. Uh, I will definitely come back with you on a date for this. Scott, again, uh, Swami just mentioned that we'll have the segregation of uh, the vulnerabilities in the, in the very shortly. And 
Enrique, good morning. We had an issue last week where we patched Edge for a customer and the browser clip became useless. We had to do a script in RMM to install Edge again. I don't know. Enrique, is it something that you can share the logs so we can look at what happened actually? Uh, uh, not sure what to answer for this. But if, if you can share the logs for that particular laptop or for the asset, we can see what 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 we can try to troubleshoot the issue. Alex, yes, like I mentioned, all of these are under testing right now, and we should be able to add it very quickly. View change with Lion Guard integration, um, Andy. This was uh, this is we can add this to the roadmap right now. We don't have this. Uh, if you require any help from you on this, maybe with request to an access to Lion Guard, we'll come back to you. But your point taken, we'll add this to our roadmap. I think we reached the end of the questions, uh, Sri. And uh, sorry, folks, really, uh, for the on-prem versions delay. So uh, we are testing it, and we have found uh, some major issues, and that is resolved right now. And uh, still in QA, it will be released shortly. Um, Paul had a question. Is that addressed? Can you add a fix uh, it button? Uh, can you add a fix it button to all areas where you identify all only that have corresponding patch script? The ability to check if solutions. Uh, uh, understood, Paul. We'll we'll have a look at this and uh, we'll we'll see when to add this into our roadmap. Yes, we can. This is a feature request. We'll take it as a feature request. All right, so Paul, uh, sh short answer, we'll take it as a, put into a feature uh, request list and uh, uh, you know get back to you on a date for when that can be delivered. Um, so any other questions, um, happy to stay on or um, if there's nothing else, we can give back 30 minutes uh, of your time back to everyone and uh, reconnect as usual next uh, Wednesday at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern as usual. Okay, if anything else, thank you very much. I appreciate everybody taking the time out and um, have a great rest of the day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.